Okay, so here's our data set. So let's copy and paste that. Let's just select it and copy it. Create a new, create a new sheet. See, now we have a copy. And everything is, well, this one can be moved a little bit. Okay, so now we have everything here. And what we want to do is create charts for each category, for each column, one chart. And we'll do it actually okay, by so creating choose the range, the table. just the entire range here. Uh, so first you're selecting and then. Yeah, so we, yep, so we selected this range. And let's select sheet two for the, exi to the existing workbook, sheet two. And just select a range here that will cover it like that. And let's enter it. Yep, here's our pivot table. And so what we want first, see, we're going to do numbers of items shipped. That's the first one we want. So let's go to sheet two, click numbers of items shipped and description. See, that's our pivot table. It's as easy as that. And that's all we want. So let's, so now let's create a chart out of this pivot table. To the insert and let's go to pivot chart see which ones we have here well they they'll create one that's actually a little bit it's not even necessary to do it that way we'll just choose any chart recommended charts uh, yeah <coughs> so let's just choose recommended charts for number of items shipped um, a line is good, surface, stop, high bar, yeah, area, yeah, let's choose an area chart, that's pretty nice, numbers are interesting. Uh, oh no, that's actually better for popularity, yeah, let's do columns, let's just do columns for number of items, sure. see, now we have just a very basic columns chart. And that is sufficient I would say, just for this exercise. And okay, there we are. So the description and revenue. So there's our revenue. Now revenue is actually is actually good for it, a, it would be good for a pie as well, but we already used pie. So let's just insert, let's just choose a different term. Let's choose. Yeah, line is good for revenue as well. See if they have a 3D line. Yeah, it's just a 3D line. That's nice. Yeah, just a little 3D line for revenue. You know, I kind of always like to with the three, do a little 3D rotation here. And let's just rotate it just a little bit to the left. See, like that. Yeah, I think this is really nice now. Remember the rotate, can you, yeah, you can try that. Y and X rotate, yeah. Right, it's a little nice, it's nice for this one. <clears throat> yeah, this is really, this is really nice. I can also change depths. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Change depths. Yeah, okay, so that's good enough. So we have that. Now just one last one, the uh, the popularity. So this is revenue, rename it, metric. So, so now what we want really to do, well. since we have everything here in the dashboard, now let's start with the slicers. Mm -hmm. So let's just select the first chart, go to the pivot table menu, insert slicer. Uh, see, and you can do everything at once, actually. So it's great. Yeah, see, now we have slicers for every item. And now the arrangement of the slicers is a little bit optional. I mean, I, I possibly recommend doing it this way, that you have one on each in each corner, right? That looks kind of good. Yeah. But that's up to you yeah, how you want to arrange it. did get the job done. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Okay, great. So now the next step is to click, right click on a slicer and then record connections. 
and this is how everything will be interconnected. And we'll do this for each slicer. Right click and report connection. Hopefully you have that. Yeah, I do. Good. And then we'll uh, do that. So this, see now we're interconnecting everything. Ah, I see. Okay, let me uh, one for the other one too. Right click. Report connection. See now we're actually already done. This is actually now if you click on revenue, see that how everything is interconnected. It's very nice. I see uh, all the charts. Yeah, they all they're very dynamically interconnected. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, for instance, if for your presentation you want to emphasize that aspect about your data, the see in items. terms of the revenue, see the books. So see the books sh uh, ship more and then the video games. At the same time, the video games are more popular. Uh, the books brought in more revenue, but the video games are more popular. So possibly you can make an adjustment if you want the books to be more popular. Maybe create books that are based on video games or maybe that are connected to the video games somehow. You know, you, you, you can maybe make recommendations to your various from from your marketing standpoint, you can make recommendations to your company uh, what this data means okay, for development, for distribution. Now, what I'd recommend to do is to adjust the columns. slicers. You know, can see like that. That's nice. And we can also change the dimension. So that's maybe something you also want to definitely incorporate. Is a nice to see like that. It just looks better. And then you may want to arrange it in an interesting fashion. Uh, and what you could do is just one column and hide and then just hide up there. Yeah, see? Now, the background, you can fill it with a color if you want the background. You just Select the area that you want filled, and then you go to color, and select maybe a very pleasant color like that. Okay. That's a pretty nice dashboard for to explain your marketing, your marketing data set. Yeah, nice. Now, what the other issue that might surface is that you need to copy and paste everything to a PowerPoint, and you can do that. You can copy and paste the entire thing to a PowerPoint, and you just need to have access. Okay, cool.